I'm Eric Swab. I'm retired and uh, avid hiker, mostly on Pikes Peak. And um, after hiking for years, I have become interested in the human activity that's taken place on the peak, and I've done a lot of research. Um, the summit of Pikes Peak was uh, uh, focus of, of a presentation that I made uh, this year for the History Symposium at the Pikes Peak Public Library, and, uh, which involved uh, the, the signal station, um, a uh, research project done by a couple of professors from, uh, from Oxford, England, and uh, one from Yale and one from Colorado College on the effects of altitude on, on human physiology. And finally, uh, uh, some military ex uh, uh, experiments that went on on the peak, one, one of which was uh, the testing of the Liberty engine, which uh, happened in 1917. Um, at that, prior to that point, uh, aircraft engines could not fly at altitude, and an engineer from General Electric uh, had uh, developed the turbocharger, which uh, uh, allowed aircraft engines to fly high, much higher. So I, I'm interested in a lot of aspects of the history of the summit um, and Pike Speak in general. The, uh, you want me to stop? <laughs> <laughs> the, I, I can keep going if you want. The, uh, one of the things that, that I have not heard too much about, I feel that there should be some more trail access to the summit. Uh, we now have two major access, the Bar Trail, of course, and uh, the trail from the crags. Uh, there is a secondary trail that is not strictly a system trail from Gillette, but with the opening of the South Slope, I feel that there's a great opportunity for trail access from the South Slope to the summit, which I would like to see considered.